This tutorial covers the use of multiple Boolean operators in a single search strategy using parentheses and we'll demonstrate this in the Academic Search Complete database. Now if we're going to continue on with our topic of fracking and earthquakes, um, I'm going to go ahead and start out just by typing in this top line. I'm going to type it straight through on this single line. I'm going to start out by uh, brainstorming my main topic of fracking and I will enclose this um, using Boolean operator ORs in parentheses. So I'm going to start out with fracking truncated or hydraulic fracturing. and I can truncate that as well. Now I probably want to make that a phrase search so I'm going to enclose those inside quotation marks and enter in my third brainstormed topic of shale and then I'm going to enclose that set of parentheses. So that's my main topic brainstormed with ORs and now I'm ready for my subtopic but before I do that I have to join it with the boolean operator and to let the database know that I want at least something from my first list as well as something from my second list. So I'll start my second list of my subtopic brainstormed terms by entering in earthquakes and I'll truncate that as well or quakes truncated or uh, seismic activity, truncate that and close that parentheses. Now I'm just going to search for titles at, the t at this time. Let's see what we get. Okay, so now I have 34 results and if I take a look at the results I will see that in the titles I'll see at least one item from my main topic, for example, hydraulic fracturing. Sometimes I'll see more than one because it also includes shale, but it also requires that I have something from my second list. So here's my seismicity, okay? And I can scroll through this list and see, um, now here's number six where fracking appears as well as earthquakes. So that's from my first list and from my second list. So it's doing exactly what I asked it to do. Now at this point, I only had 34 results, so I probably don't want to add in my third topic. 34 results is a reasonable amount of lit, uh, items that I could look through, but if I wanted to, I could try narrowing it down even further by adding a second AND and brainstorm the geographic concept of Ohio or um, the Midwest and I can truncate that too, maybe it's Midwestern, okay? And let's see if I get any results for that. Okay, so I did get two results that have something to do with fracking, having something to do with the Ohio, and earthquakes. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and clear this out. All along I have been uh, searching just using this top line. What's nice about this particular database and other databases that is that sometimes they allow you to build your search without having to worry about those parentheses. If that's the case, go ahead and just enter your main topic up on the top line and you don't have to include the parentheses. And if you notice the top line and the second line are joined already by the boolean operator AND. So having them in these separate fields uh, kind of acts like the parentheses are there for you. Okay, so I'm cheating by cutting and pasting here, but I thought that would be quicker. So on my main line I have my fracking topics joined by OR and on my second line I have my earthquake topics joined by OR and in between I have my boolean operator AND make sure we're looking in the titles. And now I'm back to my list of 34 results. And then on this last line, if I wanted to, I could put in Ohio or Midwest truncated. And I should be back to, oh, this has to be in the title, to my two results that I found originally by typing it all on a single line. Uh, regardless of how you do it, just knowing how you can organize your search, break, uh, combining those Boolean operators into different sets of results will be very useful so you don't have to repeat these searches over and over again.